Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to send DocuSign document on Google Form submission. So I am running a rental property agency and my objective is that whenever our interested tenant is going to submit the form which I have created with the help of Google Forms for renting properties, then immediately a lease agreement should be sent to that same person with the help of DocuSign for e-signature. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For that, we have to set up a connection between Google Forms and DocuSign and that we are going to do with without the requirement of any coding and programming skills simply with the help of Babli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. As I told you in this video we are going to learn how to send DocuSign document automatically for the signature of the person or the client whenever the client is going to submit the Google Forms. So how we are going to automate this entire process? I have already created a Google Forms. As I told you I am running a property rental agency and I want that as soon as a client is going to submit the information and when they are going to agree that they want to receive the document by email for electronic signature then immediately and automatically the document for the lease agreement will be sent to that same person for the e-signature with the help of DocuSign. So I am going to automate this entire process by setting up a connection between Google Forms and DocuSign that too without the requirement of any coding and programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we will find two options sign in and sign up for free. In case if you are already an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to, to create your free new account. Also, when you will do that, you will receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as I am already an existing user, so I am going to click on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it is going to take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly and securely. Now, as we run that, here we are going to click on create workflow option to create a new workflow which is given on right corner with blue color. As we, after doing this, a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to provide a name to our workflow. So first of all, I'm going to provide a name over here. Send DocuSign document on Google Form submission. Here I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save my workflow. You can see I have multiple folders over here. So I'm going to select automations for task management as my folder and now I'm going to click on create. As we have done that, we can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now here let's suppose that my objective is that whenever the client is going to submit the form through Google Forms, then immediately the document for the signature should be sent to that client. So I'm going to take Google Forms in my trigger and DocuSign in my action step. But when we are going to set up the connection between these applications, we will see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the form will be submitted by the client, then only the document for the signature will be sent to that client, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us start creating the workflow step by step. Before moving forward towards creating the workflow, here I'm going to tell you one more important thing. Now in your, now in your workflows, you can also add the notes if you want according to your requirements you just have to click on this icon click here to add workflow note okay so when you're going to do that here you will see that you can add a note over here according to your requirements and according to the purpose for which you're creating the workflow and this note will be added to the entire workflow okay so i'm going to give the note let's say over here as here you can see I've added the note automation for sending lease agreement to the clients for e-signature. As I told you, so here I am creating this automation because I'm running a property rental agency. So when a prospective tenant fills out the Google form, which I have created expressing interest in the property, I need to send them a lease agreement for electronic signature. Okay. So instead of doing this manually, I have set up an automation with the help of Pabli Connect to send this lease agreement via DocuSign immediately after the form is submitted. So here I have given the note over here to my workflow that this is an automation for sending lease agreement to the clients for e-signature so that further any of the team member is going to open the workflow which I have created they will be able to understand that that what is the purpose of creating this workflow okay so now I'm going to click on save and this way you can see that the note is added 
I will cross this and when I'm going to go towards this icon once again you can see my note is visible clearly okay in the similar manner if you want to add the note inside your trigger step you can click on this three dots you can click on add note and a note will be added over here and the, and in the similar manner you can also add the notes according to your requirements to your action steps okay now after adding the note we'll move forward and our objective is to create the workflow so first of all we'll go towards the trigger step for starting the workflow here our trigger application will be google form so we will simply select that and now we have to select the trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start we have new response received as our trigger event over here because i want that whenever the response will be received by submitting the form then i want to receive the response of that form immediately and instantly over here inside public connect with that response the workflow is going to trigger and it is going to start automatically as we have done that we have received a webbook url along with some instructions so we simply have to follow these instructions given over here carefully in order to set up our connection and and the URL which is received to us is going to act as a bridge because it is going to transfer the data from Google Forms towards Paply Connect whenever the specific event that means whenever the response will be received. Okay, so I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. First of all, I will take you towards my Google Forms. This is the form which I've created for client information and document request. Okay, so when the person is going to submit his form, then I want to send the document for the signature to that person. Now, we will have to set up the connection between this form and public connect for that we have to go towards the response section and here you can see the option of link to sheets when we are going to click on this button it is it is asking us two options select destination for the responses so here i'm going to click on create a new spreadsheet with a name as client information and document form response and you'll simply click on create as you've done that now we have linked our form with google sheets so whenever the form will be submitted the record of that form will be created as a new row over here in our spreadsheet and you can see that all the fields which we have in the form are given over here as well along with another field that is timestamp this means that whenever the form will be submitted the date and time of that particular form submission will also be added automatically whenever the record will be created so quickly i'm going to format this spreadsheet so here my spreadsheet is ready so when the form will be submitted now when we have linked the form with this spreadsheet the record will be created immediately so first of all i'm going to submit the form over here we'll go to we'll go towards the send section to the form and here this is the link of the form so i'm going to quickly shorten the url we'll copy the link we'll move back and open it in a new tab and the form is open so quickly i'm going to submit this form in order to capture the response inside google sheets then further we are going to set up the connection between this google sheets and public connect for transferring this data with the help of webbook url towards public connect okay so let's say the name of the client who is submitting this response is smart client let's say the email of this client is smart90 at the rate publicutes.com here we have the phone number so i'm going to enter a random phone number address 13 old street bhopal and it is asking us do you agree to receive the document via email for electronic signature so i'm going to select yes over here now we are going to click on submit and as the form is submitted we'll go back towards the google sheets okay and we can see that here the response is captured immediately in this response we have received all the details here's the timestamp, the date and the time at which the form is submitted the name of the client email address phone number you can see address and the response as yes okay so when we have recorded the response inside google sheets so we have to set up the connection between this google sheets and public connect for that we have to go back towards public connect we will simply copy this webbook url and then we have to insert this url over here for setting up the connection so, so let's go towards extensions here we have the option of add-ons so when we so when we'll click on get add-ons it is going to take us towards google workspace marketplace now here we have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. We will simply select that. So now Pabli Connect Webbook is a very important add-on which you need to install in Google Sheets for setting up the connection between your Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. As my add-on Pabli Connect Webbooks is already installed, you can see. So I'm just going to cross this. And once you will install the add-on for the very first time, you also have to refresh your spreadsheet so that you will be able to find the option of Pabli Connect Webbooks under Extensions. As I can find the option, let's go towards Initial Setup. And basically we have to perform an initial setup in which we have to enter two details for setting up the connection successfully. So the details are webbook URL and trigger column. We have already copied the URL. So let's simply paste that over here. The next field is the trigger column. Trigger column is the last data entry column of your spreadsheet in which when the data will be added, entire row will be immediately sent towards public connect with the help of the URL. Okay, you can see in my spreadsheet, I have the column up till F. So F will be my trigger column over here because I want that whenever a new row will be added inside 
inside my spreadsheet when a form will be submitted and it will be added up till F column, then immediately the response of that entire row should be sent towards Pabli Connect that too automatically. So I'm going to enter F over here in the similar manner according to your requirements, according to your data, you have to select your trigger column in which you want that when you are going to enter the data, the response should be captured. I'm going to click on send test now because I want to send the test response towards Pabli Connect. As we have done that here, the test data is sent successfully. So we'll submit the initial setup. And here, when the setup is configured successfully, let's cross this. We'll move back towards Pabli Connect. And over here, you can see that we have already received the response. In this response, you can see we have received all the details. This is the trigger column, which we have added column F timestamp. Okay, the spreadsheet name. Here we have the spreadsheet ID, the sheet name, sheet ID, row index, that means the number of the row in which we have the data currently. Okay, phone number of the client, name, email address, the response which we have received and here we have the address. And we have received all the details. That means our connection between Google Sheets and Public Connect is successful. But our objective is that now whenever the data will be added over here in our spreadsheet up till trigger column, the data must be keep on sending towards Public Connect and that too without any manual efforts. Okay, so for that we have to go towards extensions, Public Connect web books and we have to click on send on event once again. As we have done that, we have made sure that whenever now the form will be submitted by the client inside Google Forms because we have already linked that form with the Google Sheets. So when the row will be added up to the trigger column over here in our spreadsheet, the data must be the data will be keep on sending towards Pabli Connect. Up till here, our connection is successful. So let's move forward towards sending the document to the client who has submitted the form. But before that, in the response, you can see I have received yes as the response. You can see that here in the question I have added. Do you agree to receive the document via email for electronic signature? So when a person is going to submit yes in this particular form, then only I want to send the document to that person, otherwise not. So when the person is going to submit no in the case, then, then I do not want to further continue the workflow and I want to stop that workflow over here. Okay, so what we will do? For that, we have to apply a filter condition that only when the response will be received as yes in this particular question, then the workflow should continue further, otherwise not. So here our action event will be filter. Filter is an amazing feature which helps us to set up conditions in the workflow according to our requirements. Here our action event will be filter values. Let's click on connect. And here we can see it has provided us with a condition which contains label, filter type and the value. So the label will be the question which we have received and the response okay do you agree to receive the document via email for electronic signature i have selected that from my previous response that means i have mapped this data and when we map our data it becomes dynamic that means with each and every new response it is going to replace automatically so whenever the form will be submitted further then automatically the label will be changed over here in this place with a new label of that new response okay and here we are going to select the filter type and the value will be yes so when the response will not be equal to yes then the workflow is going to stop over here so here our condition is ready and because i have entered the value over here manually so now it is not going to change every time it will be static and the data which we have mapped with the previous response it's going to be replaced okay now i'm going to click on save and send test request button and you can see that my condition is true. So now when the condition is true, we have to move forward towards sending the document. Here we have the document lease agreement, which I want to send to the client. So we have to set up the connection between DocuSign and Pabli Connect. Okay, let's click on this add action step button. Here our action application will be DocuSign. Let's select that quickly. Now we have to select the action event that will be create signature request because we want to send a signature request with the help of the template to the client. Let's click on connect. I have already logged into my account. So I'm simply going to click on add new connection to build a new connection with DocuSign account and we'll click on connect with DocuSign. You also have to keep in mind, you have to keep logging to the applications which you are connecting with Pabli Connect to make the connection process easier. And as I've done that, we can see that the authorization has become successful very easily. And my connection with DocuSign and Pabli Connect is successful. After building the connection, we just have to simply move on. We have to enter the details over here in these fields in order to send the document, the lease agreement for signature to the client. So first of all, we have to select the account and my account is already selected. The base URL is also selected over here. And here we have to select the template which you want to send the name of my template is lease agreement and it is already selected okay the document is also selected over here now, now we have to enter the email subject the message which we have to send along with this email recipient name recipient email address role etc so we'll start with the subject here i'm going to enter the subject as lease agreement for signature now i'm going to enter the small message which i want to send along with this email 
Dear, thank you for submitting your information through our form. To proceed further, we kindly request you to review and sign the attached document. Please find the lease agreement attached for your review and signature. Thanks. Now, here in the place of name, I'm simply going to map the name which I've received from the response. Okay. So, mapping is, as I told you, inserting data from previous step. This is our previous step. And here we have all the details. We want to use the name. So, let's simply select the name of the client and it is mapped over here. When we map our data, it is going to replace automatically whenever a new response will be captured. So, in this way, we are going to send the personalized emails along with a message to all our clients who are submitting the form responses with the attached document for signature. Okay. So, the name is going to replace automatically with the new name of the new client every time the response will be captured. Now, the next we have the recipient name. So, we will quickly map the recipient name once again over here. Then we have the email address of the client. We have mapped that as well. Now, we have to select the role. So, the role over here will be signer because we are sending this document to be signed by the person. Here we have to select the status which we have two options over here created and sent. So I'm going to select sent over here because I want to send the document. Okay. Now I will simply click on save and send test request button. And you can see that here we have received the response. In this response, here we have the status as sent. That means the document is successfully sent to the client for the signature. So let's go and check on the email address which we have mapped over here whether the document is received or not along with the same message. And yes, here we have received the document. You can see that in this particular document, the name of the client is given as smart client. Here we have the same message and it is asking us and we have the same subject lease agreement for the signature. So this email is basically asking the client to open the document and submit the particular agreement. Okay. So this means that our connection is absolutely successful. So when we have built this connection successfully, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the form which I've created and I'm going to go once again towards the send section. I'm going to shorten the URL quickly. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open the URL of this form once again in a new tab. This time, once again, I'm going to submit this form with all new details. And as soon as we will do that, because our connection is already made so quickly and instantly without any single manual effort, the document for the signature will be sent to that new client. Okay. So let's say this time the name of the client is test client. The email is let's say test45 at the rate .com. A random phone number I'm going to enter. Address 78 New Street Bhopal and I'm going to select yes over here. We'll click on submit and as soon as we have done that let's go and check whether the email which we have entered over here has received the document for signature or not. And here we can see that yes the document is received successfully. This time you can see that the name over here in the email is automatically changed. Dear test client and here the message is same. Okay this means that our connection is absolutely successful and our workflow is running absolutely fine. So let's quickly summarize what we have done over here in our workflow. We have simply set up a connection between Google Forms and DocuSign in such a way that whenever now a form will be submitted by the client for the for the approval that they want the document, then immediately the document for the signature will be sent to that same client with the help of DocuSign along with all the formalities, the message as well as the email subject in a systematic format. Here I have also used a filter because I want that only when the person is going to submit yes in the response that they want to receive the document, then only the workflow should continue and the document should be sent, otherwise not. Okay. So in the similar manner for any of your requirements, you can create this amazing automation by setting up a simple connection between Google Forms and DocuSign in order to send automatically the documents for the signature to all the clients who are submitting the form responses. I hope this video is helpful for you and it is clear to you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate .com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.